This is the Glorious Model O2 Pro Wireless. I've been using this mouse for about two and a half weeks, and I have some things to say about it, some good and some bad. In this review, we're gonna figure out if this mouse is good for drag clicking along with numerous other clicking methods, as well if this mouse is good for Minecraft. But even if you don't primarily play Minecraft, I still recommend you watch this video because I still think you can get value out of it. All right, let's get started. Right out of the box, you'll get the mouse, the dongle and an extender, the cable for charging the mouse, and some stickers, I guess if you're into that. First off, this mouse mouse is extremely light. It comes in at a whopping 57 grams. This is really crazy because 57 grams is like 10 grams lighter than any other full size glorious mouse. The crazy part is that this mouse doesn't even have the honeycomb cutouts or the circle cutouts that the other glorious mice have. So imagine how much lighter this thing could be if it also had the honeycomb cutouts. Another very obvious but important point to make is that this mouse is wireless. Now I've never used a wireless mouse for gaming before, I always thought I'd be dealing with latency issues, but now that I've used this mouse, I've definitely been missing out. It is so nice to not have to be a hostage to a wire anymore. It's also really fun to just spin the mouse in circles because now I can do that since I don't have a wire attached to it anymore. One more obvious thing that I'll touch basis on quickly is that there's no more RGBs. However, I'm not really too bothered by it. Apparently on the Model O wireless, keeping the RGB on would reduce the battery life by over 50%. So if the RGBs are really taking up that much battery, I'm perfectly fine with letting them go. Now I want to do some quick comparisons with this mouse to my old Model O. First off, their shape is 100% identical. Literally everything is in the same place. The mouse buttons, the side buttons, the DPI button, even the LED light on the bottom of the mouse. However, that's pretty much where the similarities stop. One big difference that I really don't like is the clicks. I don't know, the clicks on the Model O2 Pro just feel heavier. The ones on the Model O feel pretty light. I don't know if that was because the Model O2 Pro uses mechanical switches instead of Omron switches, but there's definitely a difference. I've also noticed that the DPI button is lighter, and I find myself accidentally hitting it. I figured this one out because I kept hitting it in the middle of clicking. I never had this problem though on the Model O, and I did some testing. It's almost like they took the clicks that they used for the mouse buttons and the DPI button on the Model O and just swapped them for the Model O2 Pro. Because now the Model O2 Pro's DPI button is so light. But now that the clicks are heavier, the different clicking techniques I use are now hindered by this. For example, now with butterfly clicking, I have to put my fingers in a specific spot in order to keep my consistent 27 CPS butterfly click. Before on the Model O, I had more freedom of where I wanted to put my fingers. I do actually get more CPS drag clicking with the Model O2 Pro, but that might just be because you can turn the debounce time lower than you can on the Model O. And no, I don't think that the debounce time is actually zero. MS. I doubt that's possible to get. It's probably 0.1 or 0.01 MS, but it's definitely not 0 MS. But since you can turn down the debounce time lower than you can on the Model O, this does mean you will get more CPS. I did a bolt clicking test between the two, and on the Model O, I was maxing out at around 65 clicks per second, but on the Model O2 Pro, I can get over 90 clicks per second. When I initially did my benchmarks, I thought my gameplay would have been hindered by the lower CPS as well as the problems I was having with the clicking, but playing with the Model O2 Pro felt exactly the same with the Model O. This is pretty much where I realized that clicking quickly is not going to help you too much in casual PvP. It'll definitely help you in game modes like MLG Rush or German Bed Wars or even Sumo, but I've noticed that every other game mode isn't really affected by this setback. Another thing is that the clicks sound more hollow, if that makes sense. I'll do a click test between the two mice right now. The Model O kind of sounds like the clicks are being suppressed, but it sounds like the Model O2 Pro clicks don't have that suppressor. It could just be that the shell on the inside is literally empty, 
or maybe the holes on the Model O are dampening the sound, but the Model O2 Pro's clicks are definitely louder, especially when you start drag clicking or butterfly clicking. If you do need to see some more gameplay with the Model O2 Pro, I've linked in the description some Skywars keyboard and mouse sounds gameplay where I did use the Model O2 Pro, so go check those out. Initially when I bought this mouse, I was really considering returning it and just getting a Model O wireless, but after I realized that getting such high CPS really doesn't matter, I started really liking this mouse. And I've come to the conclusion that this mouse just really isn't made for Minecraft, especially drag clicking and butterfly clicking. So if you play other games like shooter games, I definitely think you'll find value out of this mouse. But even if you are primarily a Minecraft player, I still think you should consider this mouse. If you look at it this way, not only can you play Minecraft, but you can also play other games with it too. Except you'll probably just have a better experience playing other games with this mouse than Minecraft. But that's still no reason to discredit this mouse. I still absolutely think it's worth picking up. So in conclusion, I think this mouse is a great hybrid mouse. Hybrid meaning Minecraft and other games. And if you're okay with your clicks being hindered a little bit in Minecraft, I absolutely think you should pick this up. However, if you're not okay with that, then I recommend you pick up a Model O wireless instead. That mouse is literally identical to the Model O, just with no wire. But yeah, that's my verdict. Do what you will with that information, and I will see you all in my next video.